Warning, this video contains spoilers for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip chapter 1.2. Hey, wake up! I don't wanna. But Super Mario Bros. Wonder just came out! Holy shit! Oh my god! Super Mario Bros. Wonder just came out! Ah! Well, I'll tell you. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the 15th 2D Mario. In it, you collect Wonder Seeds and Purple Flower Coins in the Flower Kingdom. Every level has three 10 Flower Coins and one Wonder Flower. The Wonder Flower transports you into Wonder Mode. Which can do a ton of crazy LSD type shit. Like start a bull rush, make pipes alive, turn the world dark, and way more. It ends when you get a wonder seed or when the time limit ends. Wonder seeds can be used to open stages. And the flower coins you can use in the poplin shops to buy stuff. Super Mario Bros. Wonder also adds badges to give you extra moves. Make the game easier or make the game harder. But what's the story? I was getting to that! The story. We start the game and see that Mario and the gang have been invited by Prince Florian to the Flower Kingdom. A different kingdom sounds familiar! Suddenly, we see Bowser. He gets the Wonder Flower and merges with Prince Florian's castle and flies away. Then we go to stop Bowser. And with we, I mean Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Toad, Toadette, Nabbit, Yoshi, Red Yoshi, Yellow Yoshi, and Light Blue Yoshi. We beat the first world and go into Pipe Rock Pato Palace where we find Bowser Jr. who transforms into Wonder Bowser Jr. and grows and shrinks in size. After you beat him, you get a Royal Seed. And then you go to the Petal Isles, where Bowser hangs out, preparing for his AMAZING WONDER! And when you have a ROYAL SEED, you can remove one of the ghost piranha plants and that protect Bowser. We beat some levels and go to World 2, Fluff Buff Peaks. Do the same thing as World 1, use the ROYAL SEED! And beat some levels, go to World 3, Shining Falls, where you have to complete trials to get the ROYAL SEED! We use it, and guess what? We beat some levels, go into World 4, Sunbaked Desert, and do the same as World 1 and 2! We use the Royal Seed! And go to World 5, where I have to rescue Poplins who are lost in the mines. After that, we get a Royal Seed! We use the Royal Seed! And go to World 6, Deep Magma Bog, where we do the same fucking thing as World 1, 2, and 4! We get the Royal Seed! and go on to Bowser. We go through extreme challenges and go into the final level. And Wonder Bowser Jr. activates Wonder Mode with every Wonder Effect we've had. We go into the final battle and it's a cool battle, but I beat it first try. And that's Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Well, what do I think? Super Mario Bros. Wonder is 2D Mario at its peak! The controls are amazing, it feels so smooth, the game is full of creative levels, the Wonder Flower is a fantastic addition that adds a lot of fun to the gameplay. You'll never know what LSD shit will happen when you use it. The graphics are fantastic, and the music is catchy, I love it. Just, just listen to this!
the game has a lot of personality. It has a lot of replay value. You have hidden secrets, collectibles, badges, and standees. The game introduces new elements and mechanics that make it fresh and exciting. And they dropped the new! Yeah! That's what I think of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So, it's time for the question. Should you play or pass? First, the review score. 10 out of 10. The game is peak 2D Mario. And now, should you play or pass? And it's a play. Yeah, no shit. I've been praising this game for the whole entire video. The game is amazing. Oh, hey. A wonder flower. Wait. I know that music. Oh, shit. Wonder flower. <laughs>